One of this morning's project is taking down a dead tree, and this tree's big. Starts way up here, comes all the way down. You know I don't like taking trees out, but that's just completely dead. There's not any live leaves on it at all. So we hired four guys to come and take a look, and they're planning it out. It's going to be risky because it's overhanging. You know, a lot of the trees that I absolutely don't want to harm and there's a coconut tree real close to it and we think that we think that coconut tree may have been struck by lightning because it's not doing very good they're going to cut it down in sections and use ropes to catch the, the falling limbs until we get it down to a reasonable level so stay tuned let's take a look at the latest progress on metalite construction so since the last episode i think i showed you how they put the rebar in inside of the uh, metalite frames and now they're working on enclosing the columns and for getting ready to pour those they're doing it with kind of a unique way they've got uh, just some steel stringers you know every foot and a half or so up and down all sides of the column and then just like the traditional method, they're using plywood forms to enclose the columns. They take that a step further and take advantage of, of the steel and use self-tapping screws to hold that plywood form to the column, to the metalite uh, part of the form. They've continued to make a lot of progress here up on the roof trusses. I think they've got all the trusses up and probably finishing up on the rebar up there. So here's another look at the one of the columns. See how they've they used the plywood and the screws and then they've blocked off the access holes on each side that tells me that they're going to pour these columns first, which makes sense. And they're bracing it up. We started the pouring of the columns. I didn't think they were going to start today. But... So I swung around here and it, I reminded myself what I wanted to detail. Um, is the the hurricane straps so you use those straps no matter what kind of roof we have what you need is a, a method to keep you know basically the wind from blowing your roof off and i see them now i'll zoom in they're on each end of the of each truss and every 18 inches all the way down each truss that's where they strap the the form that will serve as the uh, as the mounting base for the the roof so that will be screwed to that that form and then the entire assembly is strapped all the way down the length of each spar of each truss to keep the whole thing in place and to provide for that wind protection. And here I am overlooking the pool. They've been working on uh, a lot of the electrical here for the pool. We've got lights going in around the pool. And then over here is the, is the sunken bar area. And they've constructed some steps. These steps will go down from the, the patio down inside the, the sunken bar area. It works a lot better on regular wood. I swear regular wood just splits right open on just coconut shit. Here's a closer look at the tree and then 
you can see how the bark has just fallen off all the way down. I've been watching and I mean this is this just happened recently where the, the bark actually fell off. But this side is where you can see the the termite infestation. You know, I I, I don't know how far that's gonna go up, but if we can save some of this wood, it'll it'll make some nice furniture after we treat it. They're using my ladder to get up there as high as I can, fix some ropes. But after that, it's going to be using ropes all the way up. I think it's pretty good that we've been working on this landscaping cleanup. I think we'll be able to work on it the whole time that they're building the house. Instead of just sitting back and waiting to, for everything to be done and then seeing, seeing what the damage is. So this should give us a leg up by a whole year. I think that's all for this update. Thanks for watching. See you next time.